Hello, hello, hello. You're tuning into another episode of The Wonderkin Show. Today's second topic God is good, God is great. <laughs> Always on time, never late. So, hey, <laughs> yes. So today, of course, y'all saw the first video. The list of the top 100 was bothering me on a spiritual level. Bothered up my inside. Frustrated me. I was like, man, what kind of foolishness is this? But God. God said, I'll look after you, young man, through any time or any place. And I needed to pick me up. So you know what God did? He said, I'm going to give you something that you want. And Jeff Zebrick reported today at Ravens camp. And I quote, and I read for Jeff Zebrick, rookie wide receiver Zay Flowers was one of the stars of today's practice won his three one-on-ones, and had two red zone touchdowns. Zay has been an offensive standout thus far. woo And you thought, you thought, Kirk Cousins could hold me down. No, no, no! I feel good, but no, real talk, and I'm being real. Zay is showing out. He is demonstrating not only explosiveness, he is um, demonstrating um, sudden twitch, quick movement, and one-on-ones, if he's lined up one-on-one, he is looking like nobody on that team is capable of stopping him, let alone slowing him down. That's a plus. I, had, I was watching somebody, um, and Ose was talking in his little thing on um, Twitter, and somebody was commenting under it, and I was laughing because somebody said something that I was um, that everyone's wondering right now. We were saying Bateman's the number one wide receiver. Right now, OBJ is balling out in camp. Right now, Zay Flowers is balling out in camp. It might come down to a place where Bateman is fighting for wide receiver three catches. Now look, I'm not hating on Bateman. I've told everybody this. I think he has the makings of a number, a true number one receiver. But hear me out. These two guys are showing out and they're showing out in such a way that it's making people take notice. Almost like how you see what's happening with Pickens over there on Steelers World. Hey, yo, listen. Pickens is a dog. Bro, I, s- I still don't know how we don't we didn't get that man. I still don't know how we didn't get that man. Could you imagine Pickens and Zay on the same team? <laughs> Woo! God was not going to let that happen. It would have been over. But OBJ is looking like old OBJ. Zay is looking as advertised. So what's happening is they're building up already a dynamic in catches, production, and not only Lamar's eyes and and mind, but the coaches. How they call the games to make sure the ball goes into their playmaker's hands. Remember, there's no... um, Bateman's not just going to come back and say, I'm Bateman, I'm 100%. He's going to have to work himself back into game shape, playing back at game speed. This is going to take time. And he's going to have to accumulate it slowly because he doesn't want to hit it and go too far too fast. Look, I already told everybody, I always, I, everything I say, I make sure I, 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 I always remind people what I said. I wanted Tank Dell. I wasn't mad at the Zay signing, but I wanted Tank Dell. With what we are seeing right now from Zay, it's looking more and more like the team might have made 
the right decision. Now look, we don't know until the regular season starts, but I'm not. I'm, I never hated on the pick. I just wanted Tank Dell. <clears throat> if anything, I wanted both of them. Hey! I was like, double down, double down. <laughs> I wanted both of them, but I would have taken Tank over him. But everyone told me like, look, Nitro. You haven't watched a lot of tape on Boston College, but the guy is legit. The man is amazing. And, man, it's looking like you guys were 100% correct. Ah! Listen, listen, I, I, I'm that type of person. If you write, you write. <laughs> I'm not going to sit on here and be like, no, no, I was only wrong because of this. No, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And, man, say, bro. <laughs> if that man ends up being the the piece or turning into as advertised is going to be absolutely parmesan and and, and and in baltimore world i mean think about it what are you going to do we've had these conversations before what are you going to theoretically be able to do to stop or slow down the ravens if you're worried about the run game and lamar and you're saying well we're making sure they can't run and they got to throw it. Are you going to single Zay Flowers all game? OBJ is looking like OBJ. Are you going to look, no pun intended, are you going to single up OBJ all game? Are you going to single up Mark Andrews all game? Like, bro, this is looking like this could be something special. And I truly do mean that. Man, this is great news. Now, look, we still have a lot more to go. Every day they're trying to get incrementally better. But Zay's flashing. Flashing, he's showing out. The only thing that was said on that text that I was like, ugh, on was he specifically said Odell Beckham Jr. had two red zone touchdowns, but also dropped what should have been a 70 yard touchdown. <laughs> Far 70 yards is. I haven't thrown a football in a while, but I could clear 50. And I used to have like to chuck it. 70 yards is something special, man. Can you imagine a ball sailing? 70 yards? 70 yards? Listen, man. Doing that Kanye, that Kanye meme. <laughs> Seriously, though, man. Hey, I'm... Man, this is the news I was looking for, you know, a pick-me-up for all of you guys. I will say the only bad thing that I heard is, once again, the defensive line was manhandling the offensive line. That's, I keep hearing that coming out. Now, it could be that our, uh, you know, if I'm going to be or observe this in, like, purple goggles, like how some people do, then it'd probably just be through my perspective that, the defensive line is absolutely unstoppable, and they're going to lead the league in sacks and be absolutely disruptive to any offense that comes through or or plays against Baltimore. But it is something to keep our eye on because the offensive line is still being manhandled. The defensive line is setting the tone, they're setting the, the, the pace, and they're making sure that they're knocking people off the ball. That's not what you want to hear. But Zay, woo Zay, Zay, don't you know no good, don't you know no good, I'm telling you, bro, that's great news, I'm so happy about that, no one can tell me nothing, I'm, I'm dead serious with you, I needed to pick me up, that's exactly the pick me up I was looking for, thank you, and you know this, man, but no, I, for one, let me know down in the comment section, what do you guys think so far about what's coming out of camp about Zay, Nelson Aguilar, and OBJ in this offense? Tell me down in the comment section, what do you guys think so far and how well that they've been playing? But also, I'm asking you guys, what do you think about the offensive line so far? Because back-to-back -back days, they haven't looked good. And I know it's the beginning of the training camp, but we got to keep our QB clean. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And that's another episode of the Wonderkin Show. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth.
please do remember like subscribe to the notification bell and leave a comment you know i love the comments and if you would like to donate to this channel bottom of the screen right there's a qr code qr code to a cash app the name of the cash app is money sign the wonderkin show easy and last but not least the wonderkin patreon you want extra access behind the scenes additional content you want to be able to play fantasy football for the wonderkin show and all these other trinkets if you read the tiers that's how you do it like i said before there are three tiers give it a check let me know what you think all right but once again this is the wonderkin show this show is nitro signing off and as always you guys know my slogan peace and i am out of here yerp